Hi, welcome to part 2 of the video related to the if function in Microsoft Excel. A high school had two days book reading competition and the results were stored in an Excel file. The file consists of form teachers, grades and classes in a school, number of learners in each class, total number of pages read by learners per day, number of participated learners per class, and number of learners who read more than 100 pages in those two days. We have three tasks for this project. Task 1. If total number of pages read in two days is 6000 or above, word bookworms must be displayed in cells in column H. Otherwise, nothing must be displayed. In task 2, we need to identify the classes with full attendance to the competition. If everyone has been participated, in column J, yes, else, no must be typed in the cell. Our final task is to identify a form teacher who managed to motivate more than 5 learners to read above 100 pages. All three tasks will be implemented by using if function. Let's start with task 1. As first parameter inside an if function, we pass our condition which compares if sum of page for day 1 and day 2 is equal to 6000 or more. In case that our condition met, we want the word bookworms to be displayed. And if condition is wrong, nothing must be displayed. To represent nothing, we can type two double quotation marks without any character in between them. After copying the formula to other cells in the column, we can find out the classes who read 6000 or more pages. In the second task, we need to find out if number of learners and number of participants are same. If they are equal to each other, value of full attendance column will be yes, otherwise it will be no. We complete the task by filling the rest of the cells. We can observe that 8A, 10C, 11C, 12B and 12D are the classes with the full attendance. For the final task, we are supposed to find out the name of the form teacher which managed to motivate more than 5 learners to read above 100 pages. As condition, we check whether cell K3 is greater than 5. After comma, instead of typing a certain text, we select the cell with the name of the teacher, cell B3. Because we don't want something to be displayed in case the condition is wrong, we type two double quotation marks for the third parameter. To finish the task, we autofill the rest of the cells in the column. 